pumping today. Gotta go right over the house. Get the pump truck all set up. We try to get them to. Fucking holy shit, the road is terrible. Tell them to. What are you going to do? It's in the pipe. I think he gets his boom here with one on it. We could pull these back five feet, still be okay. I mean, as loose as we pour it. He's sending one more down. All right, I'll tell them we're right at the opening. Hey, if we stop putting them together, we might want to pull them back just a couple feet. Pretty close to the door opening right now with what we got. Oh, you are? Yeah. Yeah, we can even pull it back a little bit if we had to. So, I don't, you're going to put this on? Yeah, my reducer, and I'm going to put one on the hose yeah, we're on the we got plenty down there already then. Okay, well, yep. got it. Yeah, oh yeah, she loves each other. Ooh. All right, getting going here. Waiting for the pump guy to get ready. Chad? Yeah. Alright, so we gotta get that in there. I'm trying to get it down. Yeah, it looks like you got a lot of room there right now. Yep. That workable, day? I think so. One little more. You need a little bit more. Yeah, come, come, come down with that second one, then we can I can bend that up a little bit, right? Yes. I think he got it. Can you go down? Oh. Yeah, you got it, Paul. Yeah? You good? I think so. Want me to go that way a little bit, Mike? Maybe a little bit. Oh, 
we grab that handy yet? We're gonna swing it, yep. No, I think we're gonna. Yeah. Okay. I can bring this up over here. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's gonna have to go and get away. Once you get the hook, I'll come back over. Get away from that door frame. Can you go towards that door frame? More? Can you, yeah, can you go a little bit more this way? Okay. Here we go. That is what I got. All right. I'm getting tight in the night. Okay, I'm gonna swing back down a little bit. Okay. Down. Down. Okay. Coming in that door. Trying to get the creek through the line now. You might want to tap that as we go. So I know the slump looks a little runny, but we, again, we use a high range water reducer in all our pours. So we can pour up to about an eight slump with, with no, uh, that won't affect the strength at all. So without the high range in there, this would be about a four slump coming out of the end of that pipe. And we're not going to lug a pull around a four inch slump. So we pay a little bit extra per yard for this high range, just so we can get it in fast and get it down, get it screeded. Because we also have really hot water in here and we got a lot of accelerator in here. Because we, again, we don't want to be finishing this thing all night. You know, we want to make a 10 or 12 hour day out of it. So we got a limited amount of time to get this stuff down. Maybe just a little bit to your left, too, so we can get out of that little wing there. You good there, Darren? You low? Okay. Yeah, fill that right there for a minute. Now, if this is your first time watching me, you know, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. We pour all kinds of different types of flat work with concrete floors like this being one of them. We're from Maine too, so this is the winter. And we like we usually like to pour these over the wall before the house gets decked over. But because it got really, really cold, they had to deck this over and they got some heat in here. Uh, because the ground was freezing, uh, you know, late in the fall. So this is actually a couple months after when they told us it was ready and they wanted us to pour it. It, uh, it's been a couple months for them to get it to this point just because the weather's been so cold a lot of snow So we're now we're here and we're finally getting this done so they can you know put in their Put in their steps down into the basement and start finishing the basement off a little bit The contractor did a good job getting heat in here. That's actually electric heat. So there's no fumes with that They got some good lights for us typically we struggle with uh, you know working with kerosene heat and then maybe one light in a basement like this. So this one's this one was actually done really well for us. 
and it made the pour go so much easier. So we, we really appreciated that. Is that net next truck here? Oh, yeah. can you go get him yeah. mixed up to the right front? Get a little bit right there. That was the builder there you just saw. He He's going to take off for a little while because he can't get his pickup truck in the driveway. We've got four concrete trucks out there. we got that pump truck. Plus, we got a, all our own pickup trucks, so there's no room for him to get in. He's going to come back probably in an hour and a half when we get done this so he can get in here. But he set the height for us based on that door opening you saw us come in. And he wanted it at that height. So what that ended up doing was it, it ended up making this about a 5 to a 6 inch floor. So instead of taking about 26, 27 yards like it figured at 4 inches, I ended up having to get 35 yards. So it was a little bit over what they figured. And the people we're working for, the foundation guys, you know, they'll have to bill them the extra yardage for that because he didn't definitely didn't put that in his quote but that's what they wanted for our height so that's what we ended up having to do here and i mean it didn't really make our job any more easier other than it was like a whole extra truck to pull around but you can see this is going in okay for us Now the width of this building made it just right for us to use that MBW battery powered screed demon. It would fit right in between the lolly columns without having to work around the lolly columns. So it made it really actually pretty easy screeding in here. Now we got to get it down fast. Remember we have a lot of accelerator in this so if we leave that stuff sitting out too long it's going to stiffen up really fast between the, the high range water reducer starting to wear off a little bit and then the hot water and then the the calcium we put in it for accelerator I mean we've only got a few minutes to work with it even though even though it looks pretty loose to start with it it buttons up really really quick and then we like to go out and mix the truck up to the slump we want because it just gets a little bit more consistent that way so Luke we had Luke go out and you know he, he puts the cow in he gets them mixed up to at least close to where we want and that just keeps things moving a little bit faster for us Dragging that pipe around too. That pipe's really heavy. That's that's a four inch line. They actually have five inch line too, but this is the four inch. And when that's all filled with concrete, that stuff drags around pretty hard. But being on styrofoam makes it slide a little bit easier. Back rule if you want to. Okay. Coming, there. Yeah, he's off. Good. Good. Take another one off. Pull this back. Or yep. You want to? Okay. Yep. Back. I'll come down a little more. Pull that back in. Good. Yeah. Go outside, boy. 
I can carry it if you want. As long as it goes on my left shoulder, I'm okay. all right. All right. That'd <laughs> be the opposite. It'd be my right shoulder. You good? Yeah. Good yeah. I'm out. Thank, thank you. Hey, Chris. You want to take that off? No, I'll be alright. I can just brush it right there. How's Chris? Good to see you, buddy. So the poll went good. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out this next video popping up right here. And come on back. We'll see you on the next one.